Hey, uh, Jeff, JG Yokama, coming at you on a nice, hot, humid Father's Day morning. Uh, so by request, uh, yeah, I hit an estate sale this morning, uh, just got back. Um, actually, hit the, the rift last night just in case, because I had really good luck at that particular thrift in the past. Uh, did okay. Um, so let me just show you what I got, and uh, this stuff will probably show up in uh, my list of video. Uh, so I'm going to do that after this, because yeah, the stack got quite big <laughs> this last week, so I was doing a lot of work at home. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to keep that short. So this is stuff I found at the thrift, uh, for, you know, a few, like a few bucks altogether. So always like the this movie. So Moulin Rouge, the disc was a little more chewed up than I thought it was. So I'm hoping it'll play. Uh, found Blonde Redhead's second album, which is freaking awesome. Uh, I'll show some more Blonde Redhead later. Uh, I really want to get that one that was like really heavily influenced by um, Unwound, but I think that was like their fourth or fifth album. I'll have to give that a listen, because I don't think I've actually given that a proper listen. And, yeah, I do know this album. That's a good one. The Tigre. Uh, from, uh, what's her name from uh, Bikini Kill? Um, God. I'm pulling the blank. I forget her name. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it'll come to me, like, after I'm done shooting this video. Uh, and this one I picked up thinking it was an upgrade copy, just because it, it looked really clean. And, yeah, the lighting was just really bad. Uh, so it didn't end up being an upgrade copy. It was, a, it was, a, it was about the same copy. <laughs> so Steve Carlson, if you're looking at... Uh, at this and you need a copy of Carol King let me know um, I'll throw that in your box when I get that ready so I figure I'll get that out to you in a couple weeks um, a week or two I, I got a package coming here from my wife that's a, I'm gonna have to resend to Japan anyway so uh, I'll send your stuff at the same time okay so had a bit of a stack um, I probably could have gotten more but honestly I just didn't want to buy more stuff I'm only gonna listen to like once but I'm um, hitting an estate sale uh, guy Gave it to me for like five bucks, and knowing that, I maybe should have picked up a few more uh, the old school uh, country albums. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just, I just didn't want to buy a whole bunch of stuff. Like I, I'm just gonna listen to like one or two records, and the rest are just gonna sit there. But who knows? Um, this one I don't know. But yeah, whatever for what I pay for it. Uh, I already have their uh, greatest hits, but I yeah, for, for pennies, I picked up Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Um, I don't know. This is it's got Runaway on it. This is probably like maybe the third album ish. Yeah, I think my dad went to school with Gary Lewis, as, as I recall. Yeah, Liberty, pretty good copy. Yeah, so this this all the stuff I was showing, the entire stack was like five bucks. Uh, so I got a couple of Moody Blues I didn't have, so covers a little beat. The vinyl looks like a strong BG or a BG plus is. So, with blues, um, got this uh, Sinatra on re reprise, reprise, reprise. I guess I always say reprise. Yeah, gatefold, uh, single disc, but who knows? Uh, orchestrated Sinatra. Um, so I have Dream, My Heart Stood Still, Old Man Rivers on here. You'll Never Walk Alone's on here. Okay, so he's got a few of his hits on it. So it's kind of cool. So on reprise. Nice and clean. Oh, this was a good find. This is nice and clean, too. Ray Charles, Genius Soul Jazz. So, again, Gatefold on, uh, this is on Impulse. Very happy to find that one. Got, uh, didn't have Volume 1, but I did get Volume 2 of, uh, more, uh, more sounds and country and western music. Couldn't leave this one. It was kind of interesting. Hee Haw. Maybe if you're old enough, you remember that one. So had Buck Owens, Roy Clark, uh, yeah, you can read it. So I thought it would be fun. Uh, didn't have the iconic album, but they, they did have uh, some Marty Robbins. Oh, and this one was a good find. Uh, probably from a country period, but in still in the shrink too. Wanda Jackson. It's gotta be her country stuff though. Yeah, she's not not looking quite as young there. So it's gotta be her country period. Uh, still happy to have that one. No Patsy Klein, that was kind of disappointing. Uh, this one just looked interesting. So, Piano Rags. So, it's on, um, what do you call that record label? Scott Joplin. So, it's old school. Uh, just the. On None Such Records. I don't know. It just seemed like it would be an interesting listen. So, whatever. It cost pennies. 
Ah, here, I think this is the other Moody Blues. Yep, so I'll pick up this one. Uh, Henry Mancini in, in the shrink. Uh, this one's kind of a blind buy, but look kind of interesting. Paul Robeson, a ballad for Americans at Carnegie Hall. Uh, some more ink spots. Probably could have used that for the uh, 1962. Oh, no, couldn't use that one. Yeah, ink spots. I was thinking of that contest from uh, what I did last week. Found a couple of Nat King Coles, so don't say no to him. So, the records are in better shape. And yeah, they had quite the. Ex uh, I, I kind of almost wanted more, but I was like, I was thinking, I was like, I'm just not going to listen into it that much. But uh, yeah, they, they probably had about 50 Jim Reeves records. And yeah, oh, yeah, Jeff Kempton, sorry, man, if you're watching this, they had a ton of 78s. I, I was thinking about you, man. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Jim Reeves. So, yeah, so let me cut this off, and uh, I'm just going to jump right into the, uh, the weekly stack after this. So everyone have a great Father's Day, all you fathers out there, and uh, enjoy your weekends. And, yeah, so I've got all my grout, so, yeah, I fi I fi they finally restocked. So I don't think I'm doing it on Father's Day, though. <laughs> no more bathrooms. Uh, take care.